all right welcome back let's have a look at type 3 question on profit and loss okay the type 3 question is called the dishonest shopkeeper type this is one of my favorite type questions okay because it's been very 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 uncommon okay uh, people don't not really aware about it however this has been very common in the entrances over the past 2 3 years that's why it's pretty important and that's why i've given it a special type called the dishonest shopkeeper type now in this case what happens is there's a dishonest shopkeeper who promises something and gives something else so promises let's say i promise you 900 grams sugar let's say i'm a shopkeeper and i'm selling sugar let's say i promise you 900 grams sugar and i end up giving you only 600 grams of sugar okay obviously i'll give you 900 maybe i'll have some faulty weights or maybe i'll give you 900 actually but 300 will be some inferior quality powder or something which is not sugar at all okay uh, so here when i promise 900 and deliver only 600 i am keeping 300 for myself okay now i'd like you to focus on one very important concept that i spoke earlier in the video that profit or loss is realized on selling on sp the selling price okay it is calculated on cp but realized when you sell obviously when you sell something only then you can say you've made a profit or a loss okay so in this case you are definitely keeping 300 grams for yourself because you say 900 but you give only 600 so you're keeping 300 grams for yourself for sure by giving 600 grams so for every 600 grams you sell out you keep 300 for yourself so every 600 you have given out you're keeping 300 for yourself which means you're keeping half as much for yourself which means you make a profit of 50%. So in this case I make a profit of 50% because I am keeping 300 on every 600 I sell. All right? Keep in mind you keep 300 on every 600 you sell, not 900 you sell because you're actually selling only 600. All right? Uh let's have a look at a couple of questions on the on the handout so that we get a little more clear okay a shopkeeper cheats his customer by promising 1000 and delivering 900 which means you have kept how many for yourself you have kept 100 for yourself so you can keep on having 100 for yourself 100 grams for yourself whenever you sell 900 think that way whenever you selling 900 you can keep 100 for yourself so your motto is to sell 900 which means your discount is 1 by 9 i mean your profit is 1 by 9 1 by 9 is basically 11 1 by 9% refer to my reciprocals lecture okay 11 1 by 9% fair point let's have a look at one more question for for that matter we'll go to question number 2 in a while let's go to question number 4 A shopkeeper cheats both his wholesaler and the customer. To the wholesaler, he promises thousand but takes away twelve hundred. Okay, and to the shopkeeper, he promises thousand but gives only eight hundred. Find the profit and loss. So I'll write this down in the note that I have. Okay, so I I cheat both the wholesaler and the customer. So I'm in between. So here, what do I do is I tell them I'm taking thousand, but I take twelve hundred. Here I tell them I'm giving thousand, but I give only eight hundred. This is the question precisely, which means from the wholesaler you are taking two hundred extra, and from the customer to the customer is the other way. To the customer you are giving two hundred less. Okay, which means you you stole two hundred from this guy, and two hundred you gave less to this guy, which means you basically earned four hundred grams in this transaction out of thin air. Okay, you earn four hundred grams on selling how much? Eventually, you're selling how much? Eight hundred. Okay, I'll repeat this again. So you have thousand. Let's say you tell this guy I have thousand, but take away twelve hundred, which means you cheated him for two hundred rupees or two hundred grams. Now you tell this guy also that you have thousand, but take away only give eight hundred, which means you cheated on two hundred for that uh, with that guy as well. So you cheated two hundred rupees with both these guys. Okay. So 200 you took from wholesaler extra, 200 you gave to the customer less. So this is the extra, this is the less, which means in both the cases you are reaping profits. You are reaping a profit of total 400 rupees by selling. I told you, I told you, profit and loss is realized on selling something. So you're keeping 400 on selling 800, which is you keeping half, which means you're making a profit of. 50% again for that matter okay so i'll repeat this the wholesaler you cheating in a way that you're promising you'll take only 1000 but you take away 1200 which means you took 200 extra for yourself 
the customer is being promised 1000 but being given 800 which means you took 200 from here as well which means basically you took 400 out of 800 which is 1 by 2 that you took away which is 50 percent that is your profit percent all right so keep in mind one small concept in this it is realized always on selling all right come back let's look at one more one more question question number three all right let's let's just combine two concepts let's look at question number two a merchant if is I'm so sorry for the language here. Merchant sells at 5% loss but uses 950 instead of 1 kg. Fine percent profit loss. He sells at 5% loss which means 5% lesser than what he bought it for. Okay. And however he uses 950 grams for 1 kg. Now is he cheating? Yes he is because he's using 950 grams. Which means he's delivering only 950 but promising 1 kg which means he's keeping for keeping 50 for himself. Let's combine this. So there are two data given to us. Number one first data is 950 instead of 1000 and the other one is for 5% loss so he's may he's selling at 5% loss all right so yeah so this is 5% loss and this is 950 instead of 1 kg 1000 grams okay let's calculate obviously here you make a profit you make a profit of 50 on 950 50 on 950 is basically 1 on 19 okay 1 on 19 is what you make profit of okay here you're selling at 5% loss now if these two are combined together what do you mean by 1 on 19 more because you're making a profit of 1 on 19 right you're making a profit of 50 on every 950 you sell so you, this is your profit on every 950 you sell so obviously you are making a profit of 1 on 19 okay 1 on 19 profit means you realize 20 on 19 it's as good as if 25 percent is your profit you write it 5 by 4 so if 1 on 19 is your profit you write 20 by 19 but you sell your goods at 5 percent loss 5 percent loss means 1 by 20 or you can say 95 by 100 also at the same time 1 by 20 is as good as 19 by 20 which is as good as 95 by 100 okay so i can write this as 19 by 20 okay because your 5 percent is the loss 1919 cancels 2020 cancels so the answer will be you are making no profit no loss right so no gain no loss is the answer because if you're selling already at five percent loss i'll repeat this for you five percent loss means one by 20 less than what you what you what you bought at okay one by 20 less means 95 by 100 or 19 by 20 okay five percent loss also means that you bought it at 100 but now you're selling at 95 95 by 100 so this is what 19 by 20 is here okay and since you're making 50 grams on 950 grams okay you're making 1 by 19 as a profit 1 by 19 profit means realized 20 by 19 so this is your profit this is your selling loss and both multiply to get one which means there is no change no loss no gain all right let's look at one more question one one last question which can be like a mix of a lot of concepts together question number five look at it please carefully shopkeeper cheats his wholesaler and the customer to the wholesaler he promises thousand but takes away 1200 shopkeeper promises to the customer he promises thousand but gives only 800 okay i'm so sorry this is customer out here and not the shopkeeper okay so this is what is happening so this is the customer by the way so, okay uh, same as the previous question so till here it is like you tell thousand to the wholesaler but take 1200 you tell thousand to the uh, customer but give only 800 which means you make clearly 400 on 800 which is 50 percent because it is half we've, we've calculated this in the fourth question 50 percent is a profit till here now see there's an addition to this you can have any number of additions to this and keep solving this it is so beautiful that once you understand how to solve it you don't have to think at all okay you just have to like use more and more multipliers and more and more multiplication and keep getting the answer and make the problem very simple let's look at it however the customer now urges for a discount so the shopkeeper marks up by 10 percent and then gives a discount of 20 percent so now 50 percent is anyway he's making so he's making a three by two profit for sure but now the customer says i discount so shopkeeper says fine i'll give you a discount but first he'll mark up by 10 percent which is the, obviously the customer doesn't know so he marks up by 10 percent which is 11 by 10 okay and then gives a discount 20 percent which is 4 by 5 all right so now if you calculate you straight away have 66 by 50 you can further go down 33 by 25 33 by 25 which means you definitely make a profit you make a profit of how much 25 was a starter 33 is now so it is 8 on 25 into 100 which is basically 32 percent 
and that's your profit okay so 32 percent option d is the answer i'll repeat this so till here it is same as a fourth question you're making 50 percent profit now once you make 50 percent profit you're realized is three by two so now the customer says i want discount okay uh, so he says fine take discount what do you want discount to be 20 percent i'll give you 20 percent discount which is four by five but he marks up also by 10 percent and by calculating everything you get 33 by 25 which is a profit of 8 on 25 which is going to be in percentage 32 percent all right so that is about the dishonest shopkeeper question i hope you learned a lot i hope you enjoyed this video i uh, there's any the same hand of the portal so please keep yourself updated with it thank you very much have a nice day